The ultimate goal for Asimov is to land on the moon and drive at least 500 meters. We are testing the rover in a really lunar-like environment. This is really close to what we want to do on the moon, so this is a very exciting test that we are doing here. We have been working on Asimov for about five years. So this is the third generation that we developed. We started with a very small and simple one and we discovered that we cannot build it this small. So it got bigger and bigger with every generation, but now we are pretty happy about it. We got quite attached to Asimov. Uh, he's very human-like with his eyes and uh, so when he's driving through rough terrain and he gets stuck, you're like, oh, get out, get out. He's not family in the way that uh, he eats breakfast with us, but um, we consider him quite, you know, a friend. But sometimes we hate him for not working correctly. So when we did some testing on the DLR test bed, um, we had some difficulties of, um, of climbing up some slopes. Um, and uh, this is one of the things that we want to test here in Tenerife to see if the surface is making a difference. And we want to ensure that it works on most surfaces. We want to drive five kilometers and we want to go to the Apollo 17 landing site and take pictures of it. Participating in the Google Lunar X Prize is a, is a challenge because you will only get the money when you actually arrive on the moon. So you need to get the rocket and the lander and the rover financed before that and before you get the 30 million US dollars. So that is really a, um, a tough competition and uh, there are also others that are doing something well. So what's really special about this location is that we are at the height of uh, 2300 meters above the sea and this means we have a really bright sky um, with a really bright sun so that we get most of the light as we would have on the moon where we don't have an atmosphere at all. So we did some tests with the camera and we were very happy about the results. So the quality of the camera is very high, the, the image quality is great, but this is one of the things that we want to test here at Tenerife because we have a very blue sky with a bright sun and so this more represents the lunar surface than uh, a test bed in the, in the basement. The milestone prizes are very important for us because they not just give a financial boost to our team so that we can um, do stuff more professionally and do more testing, but it also helps us to go to a sponsor and tell them those guys that are uh, the judges that are working in the space industry for ages looked at what we are doing and they said this is really uh, professional and will lead to a rover that can actually drive on the moon. So I think this is the most important aspect of, uh, of the milestone prizes actually.